What is up, you guys? Orlando here with Leisure Rocket Studio. Another tutorial for you guys today. Um, I just wanted to do this one really, really quick because sometimes um, not many people know the tools they have within their uh, DAW. And today we're going to talk about the channel strip within Cubase and also the multi band envelope shaper. Let's jump right in. And remember, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. You know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any other video from us. There's a lot of Cubase users that actually don't even know the channel strip exists or plugins like this one, the multi-band envelope shaper exist. And quite frankly, they're really, really powerful as well. So let's talk a little bit about the channel strip. The channel strip is pretty flexible. It's a modular channel strip. Basically, you can rearrange everything accessed by that E in every channel. And today we're gonna be doing doing something with this kick. I'm going to show you the before and after real quick so you guys can actually hear what the multiband um, envelope shaper is doing and also the channel strip along with that. So I'm going to solo that so you guys can actually hear a lot better uh, what it's actually doing on that kick as well. It's giving a little bit more punch to that kick. There's a lot of tools here that are pretty cool. And the first one we use here is, of course, the multiband envelope shaper. Normally, I would use something like kilohertz, but again, this offers extra level of flexibility. Uh, with kilohertz, of course, you can do that with uh, multipass, and uh, you can actually do that by bands, but this is uh, actually a multiband envelope shaper by itself. It's pretty visual as well. You can modify it here in the actual shape, or you can go by attack, length, and release and also sensitivity and output here. And it's pretty amazing what you can do. Go check it out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. The channel strip also is highly underrated. It has a bunch of things that are pretty, pretty cool, including saturation, magneto tube, tape saturation, tube saturation. In this case, we're using tube saturation, but as you can see here, it changes uh, the type of saturation that you can use and it's going to save you processing power as well because this is native and it sounds pretty good as well so just temper with it uh, a little bit and you'll be surprised as well um also right here we have uh compressors uh, we have a vintage tube compressor standard compressor and you can actually modify further if you go to that um bottom here with the edit module within that uh, compressor in the channel strip, you have more flexibility there to, um, you know, play with the compression as well. If you choose like, for example, tube compressor, you can um, see actually the module within the channel strip, which is pretty, pretty cool. And also with the standard compressor as well, um, you can modify that in there. And you have, of course, uh, the EQ, you have a gate, as you can see here, noise gate, you can modify that as well at pleasure. And also the tools, the tools are a de or an envelope shaper. Um, and those are pretty, pretty cool tools to have also on the channel strip. And at the end, you can have uh, the three limiters that comes with Cubase brick wall limiter maximizer the standard limiter as well, all inside individual channels within Cubase. Try to use the channel strip first and try to see what you can accomplish with this first and then use third party apps and you'll be surprised as well uh, on how much uh, processing power you will save and also 
um, the quality of the sound that you can get from the channel strip itself. That's all for today's story. Just wanted to, you know, bring your attention to this thing, the channel strip, which is one of the most powerful tools within Cubase that I dare to say not many people use because they think, uh, you know, it's just bad quality plugins or whatever. And that's nonsense. This sounds pretty, pretty cool and uh, you'll be surprised. So try to use that. Again, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. You know the drill, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss any other video from us. And if you like the tutorial today, please leave a comment below. Let me know, I would appreciate that. And if you have questions as well, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be answering those as well. Until next video, guys, don't stress, do your best, be blessed, forget the rest, see you around.